A game of craps turns violent in Detroit. An innocent mom shot and killed while holding her toddler. Fox News' Ronnie Dahl talks to the victim's sisters who will now raise that little boy. Siobhan Davis was a young mother with a bright future. She had model good looks and loved to style hair. Her life ended, her hopes and dreams stolen in a moment of violence. She just didn't deserve it. Not at a young age, leave it behind a two-year-old son. And we got a raise with no mother. The events that led up to Siobhan's murder started here near this abandoned house at the corner of Eaton and Stopo. It was Wednesday. Some people were playing a game of craps. An argument broke out. Neighbors tell us at least two guys returned to the area later that night with guns. They shot Siobhan's 19-year-old cousin Derek Davis and 28-year-old Errol Jackson. Then they drove a few blocks to Siobhan's parents' house on Prairie Street and opened fire. Bullets sprang the house and the car Siobhan was riding in with her son. She was driving dropping him off to rush to the hospital after learning about her cousin. He was right there with her. He and seen her everything. She was holding him like this. As I'm holding him like this, that's how she was holding him inside the car. She got shot in the back of her head, so it didn't touch him at all. It was going to pop, bang, bang, bang. And and I jumped on the floor. Vivian Gully lives across the street. Despite the danger, she ran to help, but it was too late. It was real traumatic for me. A senseless crime Siobhan had nothing to do with. Her family and young son will forever pay the price. We don't know who pulled the trigger. We just want justice for my sister. Detroit police continue to investigate, but they're hoping for more witnesses to come forward. If anyone out there knows anything, call Detroit Police Department's Homicide Division. On Detroit's West Side, Ronnie Dahl, Fox 2 News.